principle today is active buyers binge. It's like Netflix. Find something you like, you binge on it. Post a card season four comes out, binge. Orange is the new black, binge. The ranch with Ashton Kutcher, I binged on it. I feel guilty. It was Ashton Kutcher, horrible. But on Saturday, I crushed it. <laughs> this is the world we live in. We have all this content, all this information available to us. When we find something we like, when we find something we're interested in, we binge on it. And our buyers are the same, our customers are the same. When we are looking to make a major purchase decision, we binge. So what you know your clients are gonna do is they're gonna read your website, they're gonna read your blog, watch your videos, download your white papers, go to the Chamber Plans website, they're gonna to go to social media, and Google you, they're gonna look at everything and they are going to consume it all in a big burst. And then they're gonna stop. And this is an interesting phenomenon. What we see today is people binge as a defense mechanism. We actually are consuming all this content to help us make major purchase decisions. It's like putting on armor. The more you know, the more secure you feel. So you consume all this content, even if it's a relatively small transaction, we will still binge so that we can validate we're making the right purchase decision. But this behavior, this binge, is like a shifting doom. This is a new transformation within the ways our customers are behaving. Just like the binge phenomenon on Netflix is relatively new, this behavior on our customers is new. And what's happening is it's actually being triggered by a real phenomenon that we're seeing in content marketing called content shock. Content shock is a model that was developed by a guy by the name of Mark Schaefer about a year ago. And what Mark found is that the volume of content being produced now is surpassing the world's attention. Let that sink in for a minute. We are now creating more blogs, more videos, more podcasts, more social media, more tweets, more content than there are human hours in the world to actually consume. So you're gonna take everybody in the world, everyone in China, and Africa, and North Korea, everyone, and ask them to try and consume all of the day's content within a 24 hour period, they wouldn't be able to do it. There's not enough hours in the day. We've passed this critical inflection point now. And this is causing a change in our consumption behaviors when it comes to content. What we're doing is we're defending ourselves, we're protecting ourselves, so we're not subscribing to as many newsletters, we're not liking as many Facebook pages, we're not following as many people online as we were, say, three or five years ago. And this is a defense mechanism, because who wants to fill their inbox up with another newsletter? Your customers are doing this too. But this has significant ramifications from a marketing context because it flies in the face of everything that we've been prescribed since for the last five years. We've been told for the last few years, we need to engage our customers with streams and feeds. We need them to subscribe to our newsletter and like us on Facebook. But that's not working anymore. And this was articulated by a few companies late last year. Buffer, which is a social media marketing company, came up and said they lost 50% of their social media referral traffic over the prior 12 months. It's a shocking statistic. They lost 50% of their referral traffic. Anyone here using Buffer? You know what it is? So Buffer is a social media sharing tool. It's amazing, it's free, you can all try it out. So if you wanna automate your tweets and your Facebook page updates and what goes to Instagram, all those types of places, it does that for you. So it's a really, really powerful social media tool. But for them to, if you think of it, they're in the business of social media sharing, to come out and say their social media traffic is falling within by it like a stone, is a shocking stat. You'd think they'd wanna bury that lead. But their brand is around authenticity and transparency. And so they came out and they published the reports. And right afterwards, several other firms came out and said the same thing. Copyblogger, Ma, Sumo Media, all said the same thing. Their social referral traffic is falling like a stone as well. And the reason for that is content shock. We are protecting ourselves. We are not participating with content like we were a few years ago because the volume of content has increased so much. So what we know from a customer perspective is if we have a need, if we have an interest, we can consume it all on our terms. We don't have to subscribe to a TV program, we can binge. And we don't have to subscribe to a newsletter feed, we can binge. So what this means for you is the companies that service the binge have a significant competitive advantage. And this is where your digital marketing...